We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm extremely pleased to be joined by Jean-Francois Bureau who is Director of Institutional Affairs for UTELSAT. Jean-Francois, thank you very much for being with us today. A pleasure for me. Today we're here at the uh, Development uh, Conference and I would like to ask you why is UTELSAT concerned with development issues? Because it's a big challenge for everybody. Uh, UTELSAT is a satellite operator. We are providing broadband for many countries, many regions, and we are absolutely convinced that broadband is a key part of the development in the future. So being here is also a way to address the next, the coming challenges, is a way to address the best solutions, and uh, uh, is also a way to engage with governments, officials, regulators about um, their plans. We believe that uh, the satellite is indispensable in the future for the broadband development uh, because it provides uh, a very useful tool to fight the digital divide. Digital divide is a real challenge for everybody and the satellite is a part of the answer. It's not a part of the problem and we believe that uh, providing broadband to the most remote areas, to the people who will never be connected by the terrestrial networks is obviously of much importance. I was going to ask you, how can UTELSAT uh, uh, provide this uh, connectivity to ITUD member states? I would say that, first of all, we provide connectivity by our own investment. We are investing half of our revenues in new satellites. We have been the first satellite operator to develop a new generation of satellites, which is called high throughput satellites. Now you, you have, at the moment, quite 30 satellites which are under construction of this new generation. And we provide services for, to connect the schools, for the governments, for the safety, for the security, uh, for the, uh, uh, the complementarity between um, the terrestrial networks and uh, the other usages. I mean that when you will look at connected TV in the future, it will come from uh, the satellites as well as it comes from the uh, terrestrial networks. So we have a lot of uh, applications, e-health, e-administration, are also part of what we can do and uh, all these uh, applications obviously uh, provide answers to big questions the governments are facing. And this is an affordable proposition? We believe it is, yes. Uh, when you look at the plans uh, to do, uh, develop uh, the broadband, the key question uh, is not so much how to connect the center cities, the key question is how to connect the last mile and the people who are living in the most remote areas. And the satellite has a very specific um, business model, I would say. Uh, in the case of the satellite, the marginal cost is exactly the same as the average cost. It means that the last pe person who has to be connected will not cost more than the first one, which is a bit different from the other solutions. And that's why we, we make a plea for technological neutrality because we believe that all the solutions have to be on the table and that they have to be uh, compared with regard to their own um, qualities and uh, in many cases we believe that uh, if you look at um, a, a balanced development strategy, if you look at the purposes the governments have in mind, uh, they have to include and they do, they include the satellite as a component of their plans. And what specific developmental issues can a company such as UTELSAT take? Well, when we look at the partnership we have with uh, ITU development, uh, we are working for providing connectivity for the schools. It is a key part of what we already do, and uh, we understand that uh, for the future, the young people want to, to be familiar with the new technologies from their very beginning of their scholarity. Secondly, uh, we have with the satellite uh, appropriate solutions to provide the, 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 the broadband capacity for, for many schools at the same time. For example, last year we have been in charge of equipping 4,000 schools uh, in Turkey. We did it in less than six months. So in, in a very short period of time, really the schools and the life of the, of the, of the students has very much changed uh, for the best. And we believe that uh, there are big needs, there are wide needs uh, for, that, uh, for that activity. Another part of what we do is to look at how to strengthen the uh, ITU capacities for 
disaster relief situations. As you know, the satellite is the only solution which is available when uh, people are facing disaster situations. And as we heard yesterday from the Japan minister in the film we saw, uh, it has been widely, and, uh, widely appreciated in the last period of time in Japan because of the tragic events we have in mind. So, um, promoting connectivity for schools, helping the ITU with disaster relief capacities, that, these are the both um, the two main uh, actions we are looking at. But we also take uh, stock of the experience we have now. Uh, for example, we have been providing capacity for Afghanistan, and the minister ma made a reference to it yesterday, and uh, we believe that this uh, work with the Afghan government will give new capacities for uh, more and wider services. Finally, we're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference. What would you hope will come out from this conference that's once every four years? It's a big, it's a big uh, conference. It's a real, the place where everybody is here. And uh, we are engaging with the ITU, we are engaging with the governments, with the regulators. What are we expecting from that, uh, from that meeting? We are expecting a, a clear strategy for the broadband development. It's clear that uh, there is no uh, one solution fits for all. Uh, we believe that, as I said, technological neutrality is a key element of a strategy. And we only wish that the satellite um, services can be offered in a very open and fair, um, I would say, competition, but also cooperation with the other solutions. There is, we are in a, in a complementarity process. There is uh, a need for building upon all the resources, and we are at a time where money is quite um, rare. We need to find affordable solutions, and we believe that the satellite can be a part of it, provided that uh, the technical conditions, I mean the spectrum, the access to the spectrum can be guaranteed. And it will be, it will be also another story which will come back to the ITU uh, very soon, I believe. Jean-François Biro, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. I thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you and to be in a situation to address your audience. And thank you very much for watching.